Hey beautiful, thanks so much for tuning in to today's KTV and the Terrific Day Tip of the Week. Yeah, woo! July is packed full of fireworks here on KTV. And today we are starting a two-part series called The Four Sales Mistakes I Guarantee You're Making. So let's jump in. I know in the online business world, everybody talks about the power of positivity. And I am the biggest believer in being positive. But sometimes there are mistakes that we make simply because we don't know or we've never thought of it that way. And today is going to cover two of the biggest sales mistakes I see people making. The first one is feeling like sales is icky, sleazy, slimy, dirty, stereotypical used car salesman. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Almost 100% of people I work with say that they are worried about coming across like those dirty little sales words. Icky, sleazy, slimy, dirty, pushy, yucky, yucky, yucky. And I have great news for you today. Because selling is not icky, sleazy, slimy, dirty little sales word. Selling is helping people. If you get nothing else from KTV, reframe your opinion of selling now. Selling is nothing more than telling someone how you can help them. Now, we have all had bad experiences before where we've been pushed or bulldozed into buying something that we didn't want to buy. And we have negative beliefs or negative opinions about selling. But when you begin to approach selling from helping people, from simply communicating how you can help people, how you can improve their life or their business or their help or whatever it is you're offering, your entire viewpoint around selling changes. And why is that important? Because if you are doing something that feels off to you, that feels icky, sleazy, slimy, dirty, you're not going to get a yes on the other end of the phone or the email or your web copy. If you're worried about telling someone how you can help them, then you're not going to be able to make a living running the business that you want to make. So, the first sales mistake I guarantee a lot of you are making is thinking that sales is icky, sleazy, sleazy, slimy. It's the first thing we cover in sales school, how to reframe this and exactly what you can do so that it doesn't feel icky, sleazy, slimy, pushy, and dirty sales words. But the first step is a reframe. Selling is helping people. It is nothing more than you telling someone how you can change their life, business, help, whatever, forever. The number two sales mistake that I guarantee many of you are making is not following up. 50% of all sales are closed in follow-up communication. That means if you're not following up, leaving 50% of your possible business on the table. That's 50% more money you can make, 50% more people you could help. You are doing your business, yourself, and your clients a disservice if you're not following up. Now, I know what people say. Follow-up feels so dirty sales words, icky, sleazy, slimy, pushy, and the good news is it doesn't have to. It should never feel that way. This is something else that we cover in sales school, how to follow up, how to do it in a genuine, effective way that shines a light on your brilliance and also allows you to get more yeses, to close that 50% of your business. I guarantee you, as sure as my hair is red, follow-up is a game changer for your business. I promise. I know it because I've seen it time and time again in my customers' lives. So two sales mistakes you're making are, number one, your beliefs about selling. It should never feel dirty sales words. Selling is nothing more than helping people, than showing at someone, telling someone how you can help them. And number two, not following up. Following up will change your business forever. It's just that simple. I would love to know your thoughts or your questions about these two sales mistakes. Are you making them? Do you have questions about how to correct them? About your, maybe it's about your opinion about, sell, about selling. Maybe it's about how to follow up. Ask some questions in the comments below and let's get a conversation started over here. Over here. I believe in you and I believe in your business.